Hey sisters and welcome back to my channel. I will be showing you a tutorial on how I went from this to this slick bomb baby hairs. So you're going to need an edge control brush, a gel of your choice or an edge control. I'll be using the kaleidoscope today and you're just going to take a little bit on your hand. And then what I like to do is I like to do it in sections. So you're going to get a bit of edge control. Put a little bit on a section and then you're going to start swooping with the comb swoop 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 so what you're going to do is as you can see i'm going in a swooping motion and then i have my finger follow that swooping motion just so it leaves a really nice finish so again i'm going to put the edge control on this section and i'm going to swoop with the comb and I'm going to have my finger follow the swoop and that helps it to stay neat, helps it to stay flat and that's all you have to do. But I'm going to show you again, I prefer to use the comb as it is a little bit more precise than the brush. But again, I'm going to take a little bit of edge control on this section and I'm going to use the comb end again and I'm going to swoop in this direction and I'm going to have my finger follow it again. So guys, you must remember baby hairs should be fun. It's so good that you can be so creative with your baby hairs and stuff like that. So I love doing this and I actually find this so therapeutic. If you are like me, drop me a comment if this is something you find therapeutic when people do their baby hairs. Um, and yeah, so you guys were thinking, why is there so many baby hairs left out? Well, that's because I prefer my baby hairs to be left out when I have braids. So it helps with the tension and also my hairline is quite low. So yeah, that's why. So as you can see, my edges already look amazing. I'm also taking edge control on the the start of my cornrow because I think the transition from the slick baby hair to the cornrow should kind of match and it kind of really does make a difference and don't worry this product doesn't leave build up that's why I'm actually really impressed with it and as you can see I was also doing my sideburns I think they're super cute and again the same concept with the sideburns it's just again you comb it through you swoop and you flatten it with your hand and you're really just good to go. And already guys, look how new, brand new and great the braids look. Amazing, literally amazing. Look how that's transformed. So now I've wrapped my baby hairs with a scarf, a silk scarf, any scarf will do. And now for the bonus tip. So I'm gonna be showing you how I spruce up my knotless goddess braids so i'm using the ors mousse and i'm spreading it through my braids and my curly hair extensions this really gives a very fresh look and um, i love how it makes it look really shiny and moisturized and guys that's the look we're going for we're going for something really moisturized and because of the curly bits sometimes the hair can appear a little bit drier um than usual but actually i have a video on everything you need to know about goddess braids so if you want that i'm going to link it up above you can watch it after this tutorial and yeah i'll also link it in the description box too <laughs> i'm just taking a little bit on my sideburns you do not have to do this i'm just being extra guys you don't need to do this um and yeah guys do ignore my facial expressions honestly i was being told some juicy gossip but anyway so guys i'm just putting the mousse on my curly bits at the top of my bun um, and as you can see i was doing some ringlet motions with my finger this is just to enhance the curls and again add that extra moisture that it might have lost
and yeah guys honestly it looks super cute like this i love it honestly like this hairstyle has really given me lots of compliments honestly i love it but anyways i'm leaving the hair scarf on for about 15 minutes and now for the unveiling wow breathtaking look how amazing and slick those edges look these baby hairs are not going anywhere honestly and guys look how bomb this hairstyle is if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this i'm going to link it above and i'm also going to link it in the description box guys what more do you want and that's it really um so now just going to give you the back view because you guys were asking me on instagram and this is how it looks from the back and yeah guys Hi guys, I quickly went to do a like a workout. Um, I didn't do like a heavy one. All I did was a brisk walk. So I've just come back and that took me about an hour and a half, two hours. And I had this on top to protect my edges. So let's see if this worked well. Um, this is the Kaleidoscope Milk Edges and I've heard really good things about it. So when I went to Atlanta, I made sure I bought one brought back one with me so let's see if it held up of course the headscarf would kind of keep it in place but sometimes i've still used like the eco styler and it's kind of oh oh wow oh wow okay like that little bit there but i don't really care about that it held up really well oh wow that's really good you know wow so I think this edge, con edge control is gonna get a probably 8.5 because it's basically stayed in place my texture is about 4a 3c so um if your texture is similar to mine then this will probably work really well um, yeah, this is really brilliant actually. And one thing I noticed that it doesn't flake. Um, it doesn't flake at all. Um, I, I sometimes use the gummy and sometimes it's like a hit or miss. So whenever I use the gummy, it kind of flakes. So the fact that this hasn't, this is amazing. And hi guys. Sorry, like my battery died. Um, yes, I'm definitely going to be getting this again um i'm really shocked at how good it is this is crazy because my edges are always flaring up or they just never stay put so i'm really really happy with this so yep go and get this if you would like to try it i'm going to be doing sort of like a mini series on like the different edge controls because i bought i bought back a lot of edge controls when i went to atlanta obviously i'm based in london at the moment but um, when I went to Atlanta, I just bought a lot of um, American edge controls. So if you guys actually like want my review on like the different edge controls, let me know. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have tried the Kaleidoscope and let me know your thoughts. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you like my hair. Um, I'm actually not sure what the hairstyle is called, but we can go with Stitch Corn Rose goddess braids because obviously stitch corners at the front and then goddess braids at the back so yeah we're gonna call it the stitch cornrow goddess braid hairstyle because it is a bomb and i love it i just love it i love it so much this i can wear down as well by the way if you guys are wondering but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys